This video will give you an overview of how to set up sample rates and filters in the Catman DAC software. The setup here includes many different Quantum X modules. The MX840B Universal Module, the MX410B Module for Highly Dynamic Measurements, and the MX1609B Temperature Specialist. Several different sensors are connected to these modules. Catman offers three standard sample rate groups which can be pre-selected, default, slow, and fast. If you are using fast modules or, as in this case, a temperature module, Catman will assign the matching sample rate groups to these modules. However, you can assign these three groups to each channel individually. Also, remember that you can only assign sample rates that are supported by the respective hardware. The sample rate groups are displayed in the channel list not only with the symbols of the measurement rate group, but also with the sample rates and filter settings used in the sample rate group. Catman will also inform you if the settings do not work with the respective hardware. Currently, you see the term auto after all filter settings. This shows you that the filter setup results from an automatic setting. We will explain this later. Assign different sample rates to these groups if required. As you can see, these are all decadic values. However, some DAC devices like MGC+, PMX, or the Quantum XA series only support the so-called HBM classic sample rates. The Quantum X modules of the B and C series support both decadic and classic sample rate domains. If you want to operate a project to make measurements with A and B series modules, you'll have to use the HBM classic sample rates. In this case, just switch the sample rate domain in Catman to classic. This requires a restart of the modules and Catman. Now let's have a look at filters. As you might know, all DAC devices supported by Catman, e.g. the Quantum X, Somat XR, but also MGC Plus and PMX, have low-pass filters where filter frequency and filter characteristics can be adjusted. I will show you how to set these filters in the following. You see in the channel list the term auto after each filter value. This indicates that the automatic anti-aliasing filter is used. In default, Catman uses 15% of the selected sample rate as filter cutoff frequency. At a sample rate of 1,000 samples per second, Catman tries to set the filter to 150 Hz. Catman uses the nearest match if this frequency is not available. You may change this default setting in the Catman options if 15% is too low or too high. In some cases, it is not desired or even forbidden for Catman to change sample rates or filters. You may prevent this in the hardware options before creating the project. In the Sample Rates and Filters dialog, you can then use the current channel setting for filters so that nothing is changed by Catman. Alternatively, you can also assign an individual filter setting to each channel. Please note that not all of these settings are supported by all DAC devices. Catman transfers the settings to the respective channel and reports if any problems arise. The new setting is displayed and the term Auto disappears. In some cases, it can be useful not to use any additional hardware filters. However, choosing sample rates and filters depends very much on your application. Professional trainings are available at our HBK Academy for beginners and advanced. Of course, also for Catman. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to contact us. See you next time.